I'm here, Jimmy. What is it you wanted to talk about? I wanted to let you know I was doing some research into alternative dimensions. And I was wondering if you would be interested going into one. Of course. Dang Jimmy, all these experiments you have been doing are awesome. These were way more fun than what Dexter did. Glad you think so, and thanks for helping out with them. No problem I'm ready to go. Before you go I should tell you that in this one you'll be a senior in high school. Apparently from my findings, people in this universe tend to overreact about everything so, be careful alright? I'll try. Alright. Go onto the machine and I'll send you there. Looks like you should be there now, Caillou. Cool, so what should I do now? Just go to class, I guess. I'll monitor everything. I'll make sure you get back here eventually. Sounds good. Aw oh man, I'm late for class. Caillou. You are late again. This must be the 90th time this year. What's your excuse this time? Sorry, Miss Martin. You see, I just arrived here from another dimension. Well, that's certainly a new one. You honestly expect me to believe that? Not really, but that's actually what happened. I've had enough of this behavior. Go to the principal's office right this second. Sure thing. I'll be sure to tell the principal you said hi. So, Caillou, why are you here? Do you want the truth? Because sometimes reality sounds more ridiculous than fiction. Excuse me? Yes, I want the truth. What has seriously gotten into your behavior? Miss Martin was definitely correct in sending you here. Long story short I came here from a different dimension to investigate this one and I ended up arriving to Miss Martin's class late because of it. Miss Martin claims this is my 90th time late or something like that, then told me to come here. Oh yeah and she says hi. First of all Caillou, you horrible at coming up with excuses. Dimensional travel? You can't be serious. Second, considering all of your tardies that you have accumulated this year. I have no choice but to hold you back to 11th grade. You will be going back to your junior year. Darn that sucks. I was hoping I was the guy who is always late but does a good job in class, so he gets away with it. Seriously Caillou, knock it off. I have absolutely no idea what has gotten into you but, you need to correct that behavior immediately. Alright class, thank you all for coming to chemistry. Today we have test in balancing chemical equations. So please, don't have anything out so we can get started. Ah jeez. I'm in freshman year in my own universe. I don't know any of this junk. Caillou. No talking. Unless you want me to automatically fail you and be held back to 10th grade. Do you really have the authority to hold me back for that? The zero on the paper I understand but, come on. Don't be ridiculous, only Principal Green can do that. How dare you question my authority in my classroom? I'll have you know I am absolutely allowed to do that. It's in your student handbook, maybe if you actually read it you would know. Yeah, I highly doubt anyone reads that. You're going back to 10th grade as of now. Get out of my classroom. I will not tolerate such behavior. So teachers are allowed to hold students back. Good to know. I'll definitely report that to Jimmy if he didn't already notice. Hello everyone and welcome to your 10th grade home economics class. Today we are going to be doing some cooking. You have access to all the ingredients in the kitchen and have to make something for class. I will then grade your work. If it's good you'll skip 10th grade and go to 11th grade otherwise if it's bad then you'll go back to 9th grade. Any questions? Yeah, I got two questions. What are your questions Caillou? Okay first question, this is an elective class. How are you allowed to do that? I'm surprised we still have a 10th grade if all it takes is to make good food to go to 11th. Second, 
you haven't even taught us anything. How are we supposed to make something good if we don't know what we're doing? Caillou that is just how things are done around here. If you don't like it you can take your zero and leave. You should know what you are doing. I don't need to teach you. Geez, okay, I'm sorry. Don't take it personally. Oh I'm going to enjoy seeing what you make Caillou. I really don't have a clue what I'm even doing. I did learn how to make barbecue chicken a while ago. Guess I could try that again. Oh wait, when I made it I undercooked it and got yelled at. Guess I'll make sure it gets well done. Alright, it should be done now. Bring it here so I can give you your grade. This chicken is overcooked and dry. Caillou I simply cannot give you a passing grade for this which means you're going back to 9th grade. Can't say I didn't try. Okay class, because I don't feel like teaching today, we're going to be watching a movie instead. We're going to be watching Final Destination, my favorite movie. Teacher, is that movie even appropriate to show us? I'm pretty sure that's an R-rated movie. Shut it, it's my favorite movie and we're going to watch it. Don't you have to give us permission forms or something, so that our parents can give us the okay for us to watch it? Also, no offense but, I'm not a huge fan of those movies. Hey Lau, how dare you not like the movie I like, that's it. You're going back to 8th grade which means you're going back to middle school. Oh come on. It's not my fault you don't want to go through the appropriate procedures to show a movie in class. Not to mention, this seems very biased on your part. We all have different preferences, you know? Get out of my class and go to middle school now before I have a heart attack for this defiant nature. I guess that means I'm going back to middle school now. You would think all these grown adults would have a firm control over their emotions, but, apparently not. Jimmy was absolutely correct. They overreact over the littlest of things. Well, at least it's lunchtime. Surely the teachers won't find anything to yell at me for right here. Let me see if I can throw this wrapper into the trash can from here. Darn it, I missed. Hey you kid. You threw that wrapper right on the ground. It was an accident. I was just trying to throw it in the trash can over there. That doesn't make a difference. You're litter bug. And litter bugs like you are to be punished severely. That's it. You're going back to 7th grade. Oh come on. You're literally a janitor. I'm pretty sure you don't hold enough weight in this school to be allowed to hold students back like that. Unless there's some mystical rule in that handbook nobody reads. You probably hold less weight than the bus driver. Oh just for insulting me like that. You're going back to 6th grade. Dude, chill out for a second. You're definitely going on a power trip. You want me to hold you back three years? Because we can go there. No, it's fine. I'll stop. Good, now get out of here. Lunch is over for you. Hey, you're Caillou, right? Yep, that's me. Who are you? Name's Bill, though my friends call me Little Bill. I heard about what's been going on with you. You got held back from senior year all the way back to sixth grade. Yeah, I know, all of these teachers get so offended if you even ask a basic question. Tell me about it, I absolutely hate how they do school. Makes me not want to go. So, how have things been going for you? It's been a weird week for me. I started off in the 8th grade, and then went back to the 4th grade after asking some questions about things, and now I'm here after doing well on a few tests. Sounds like an awful time. At least you didn't have a behavior card day. Those are absolutely terrible. I've heard all about them. The teachers send kids away for years and punish people with ridiculous amounts of detention. Caillou. What do you think you're doing? I'm just talking to little Bill here, that's all. Caillou. 
How dare you talk to little Bill while class is in session, he is a troublemaker. Little Bill you have detention and Caillou you're going back to the fifth grade, which means you're going back to elementary school. Whoa whoa whoa, hang on there. Why does little Bill only get detention and I get held back? That isn't fair. You are the one late at class so, if anything you should be the one who gets punished teacher. Also, little Bill is actually pretty chill. He's a good man. Hey thanks Caillou. Shut up and respect my authority. What I say goes and if I say go back to fifth grade then it means go back to fifth grade. It doesn't matter what punishment I give to others, that is not your concern. Now get out of my class before I have to force you out. I'm beginning to see how all this works. Guess I may as well push it all the way then. Because you know what they say, if I can't be the best, I sure as hell can be the worst. Alright, today we are going to be doing the mile run. I'm sure you all know the rules. Whoever finishes first gets to go to 6th grade, while whoever is last goes back to 4th grade. Ah uh, yes, because your physical ability is worth more than your academic abilities. Glad we're getting that lesson now than later. Caillou, cut the attitude and get yourself ready. I certainly will. You know even if I was trying this time I probably wouldn't even do well. Of course I do care anymore. I'm just here for the ride at this point. Meanwhile after Caillou walks the entire mile run. So what's my time? You had by far the slowest time out of the entire class. You took 19 minutes to do the mile. Where are you intentionally going slow? Not going to lie I was. That does it Caillou. You're going back to fourth grade. With a performance like that, I simply cannot allow you to stay here. You should really take a chill pill coach. I heard they have some really good pricing for them on Amazon. If the school allowed me to I would slap you into fourth grade for saying that. But, unfortunately that was removed for the rules last year. Get over there before I have to call the principal. Hey sorry. I'll send you a link when class is over. Alright class, today we're going to be going to the computer lab so, I want to remind you all not to go on any non-school approved sites and not to click on any advertisements. Today you will be doing a worksheet on the American colonies and doing online research. This is going to be fun. Keep that enthusiasm Caillou and you might just find yourself in 5th grade. Now just what should I put on this computer? Bonzi buddy? Nah, did that before. I know. Protogent. Certainly you haven't used the one before, and we haven't had a vine sauce reference this video so, that should do well. Darn the school block the download. And from the alarm I'm sure it means I'm going back to third grade. Caillou. Just what in the world are you doing? You were not going on the approved sites. That's it. I know, I know, going back to third grade. Can we move this along? Get there now before I have to call security. Alright class, today I want you all to pick out a book and for you to read it. It must be in your grade level of reading. Oh yeah and for you Caillou. You can pick whatever you want as long as it's something you can read. You got it. Time to bring out the Playboy magazine. This was actually the one I gave to Rosie all those years ago back when I got her in trouble. Whoa, she be looking fine. Excuse me? Uh, I mean... Caillou. How dare you look at an inappropriate magazine like that, that's it. You're going back to second grade. I'll be confiscating that magazine. To uh, make sure nobody else sees what's inside of it. Dude, you can be honest with me. I was originally a 12th grader. I understand. Sorry, rules are rules. I have to send you back. Alright class, 
Today, we shall be going over adding and subtracting large numbers over 100. I'm about ready for a nap. It's been a long day. Granted half of it was me doing it intentionally but, it's hard coming up with ways to get in trouble you know? Pay attention Caillou. Because if you want even a hope of getting out of second grade, you better focus. Now then, allow me to demonstrate how to add the two numbers 271 and 618 together. You first put the 217 over 618 and... Caillou. Wake up. Whoa, morning already? Caillou. You are not allowed to sleep in this class. That's it. Just go back to first grade already. Sure thing, teacher. I know what to expect to this point. This has to be the second time I've seen this classroom. Guess this is all Glodigron is to offer. Caillou, please focus. You might be the only one here, but that doesn't mean the rules are any different for you. Why can't they be different, though? Because frankly, if there's one thing I learned throughout this entire experience, it's that the rules should absolutely change and give you teachers less power over people, because most of you are either, on a power trip, abusing the rules, or overreact to the littlest of things. How dare you question the rules, Caillou? And there you go again. See what I'm saying? All of you act like I can't even question anything, it's ridiculous. Don't worry, I'll just single myself out and go back to kindergarten or whatever. Today, we're going to be learning to sing a new song. Oh no, where did I end up at? I was in kindergarten for the longest time, and I don't remember it being like this. Is there something wrong, Kalo? I'm begging you, just bring me back to preschool already so I can get this over with. Look, you need a reason? I'll throw stuff in the floor or something. Don't you dare, Kalo. Alright, that should do it. All the colored pencils are now on the floor. Kalo, how dare you throw stuff on the floor? That's it, you're going back to preschool. So, you're the 12th grade kid who somehow managed to find his way back to preschool. I gotta say I'm almost impressed. Just send me home at this point. The school day is nearly over. I just want to know why you found yourself here. Half of it was me questioning people, and the other half was me doing some frankly pretty minor things that got me in trouble. Sounds like you have had a long day. You can certainly say that. Well, school is going to be over in a few minutes. You can go ahead and leave. Tomorrow I'll see about getting you back in 12th grade. I never liked any of the other teachers anyways. So wait. You're not going to overreact or yell at me? No, no reason to. Well, hey, thanks. Caillou. How dare you get sent all the way back to preschool? That's it, you are so grounded, grounded, grounded for 7, 6, 4, 2, 8, 0, 5, 4, 9, 3, 8, 5, 7 years. Go to your room now, you need to get back to 12th grade as soon as you can. Why, 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 why? Okay, Jimmy. Bring me back now. What the? Just what do you think you're doing? Good to see you're back, Caillou. I saw everything and I have collected much needed data about the dimension while you were there. Thank you. Not going to lie. I actually almost started to have fun while I was in there. Happy to help. Just let me know if you have any other experiments you want me to assist in. Sure thing, Caillou.